Hey guys, how's it going? I am really happy that breeze is starting to pick up just a wee bit um, because today, like spring, is officially here. The weather is warming up. Uh, got my first tick crawling on me since uh, this winter and being backed up underneath these laurels uh, isn't the best of ideas, but this is the only little patch of shade uh, that's not just completely uh, dense laurels. So hiked in very very sweaty hiked around a good bit uh trying to break in i got a new pair of um garment boots or garment tactical boots whatever you want to call it um and yeah just breaking these in because these are like a summer uh weight boot more breathable uh, versus the pair that i've been wearing that uh you know was, was waterproof and all of that stuff um and yeah, so I went ahead and set up the uh, Snug Pack bivy because that's what we are going to be in tonight. Because um, all the, the creepy crawlies have uh, hatched out, and there is just, you know, 10 million of them. Trying something new with this bivy. Uh, I've got a uh, USMC ISO mat underneath it. Uh, and then we're still going to use a blow up mat. Not that we need the insulation, uh, that is just going to be for the added comfort because. There is a couple like roots and stuff that are in this area. It's very, uh, very minor and the air pad would probably be enough, but the ISO mat will uh, really protect the bivy. And uh, it's really, uh, to me, it's neat. Uh, this ISO mat come from a uh, Misty Mountain Supply in Canada. So, you know, this thing is a, uh, an American USMC mat. Uh, it, it was used, so that means that it traveled who knows where, then ended up in Canada and then back in the United States. So and the weather for today uh is a high of 74 which we're bound to be around right now uh and then we're supposed to be having a low of 54 to 50 degrees um not counting a bit of wind chill but i brought a wooby with me and i know for a fact that the uh, the wooby inside of the bivy is going to be more than enough Woobies are good down to around 50 degrees so taking account 
I've got my clothing, plus I brought a windbreaker. Um, absolutely no worries with anything. I'm more concerned with uh, overheating because this snug pack bivy is still very new to me. This is the fourth time, I think, fourth or fifth time I've used it. Um, and I've only used it in colder, uh, well, this, you know, this cold weather that we've been having, the times I've been out with it. Um, so really excited to see how it fares in these um, warmer temps. Thankfully, uh, it is uh, the sun is setting over that ridge back there, so the temperature has uh, improved drastically. Uh, I rolled back the uh, head flap vent area uh, on the bivy here because there's zero chance of precipitation. So it's about time uh, now that it's cooled off. We're, we're going to get a fire going because we will need that to uh, boil our water. Today we're going to be having an outpack. Uh, what is this? This is Spanish rice with chicken and chorizo. Um, I've had this one before, but it's been a hot minute. These are definitely uh, top-notch meals, um, and they have a good variety of snacks and stuff in them. Now, this container is like a waxed uh, cardboard. Uh, it's very sturdy, but uh, it does take up, you know, kind of a a larger space um, and a bit of an awkward shape depending on how you're packing your gear so something really cool i want to show you guys is i got this hilltop packs ultralight dry bag with um my logo so if you didn't know the whole thing like whole way i got into youtube was probably back in 2012 with uh, a gaming channel that i still post content to and my logo for that is uh, like the honey badger, like that's on my hat uh, with Pro Caliber Gaming on it. But uh, the people at Hilltop Packs took and made the same logo for me, uh, but put Pro Caliber HQ on it. So uh, check them out for sure. Um, this is the first time taking the bag out. And I'm primarily going to use it uh, probably as like a food bag or just for uh, knickknacks. In some cases, I put clothes in it. Uh, they make dedicated uh, hanging bags, uh, like bear bags, and that's not what this one is really intended use for. Um, but we'll be able to take and put all of our loose components that are in our uh, meal here. But uh, let's get a fire going first, and then we'll, we'll, we'll crack that bad boy open so you can see what's inside. I just grab some nearby stuff, just doing kind of a quick, lazy fire. The burn band uh, is lifted. There is zero breeze right now because I checked the weather before coming out and there was supposed to be no wind. And normally that's something that's pretty accurate. Um, the area, I know there's still some leaves in the fire pit there, but pretty much everything that's around this is being cleared. And I'm going to burn all these smaller things that have hung out the edge when we was here on a more damp or wet winter camp. It's been a while since I've been to this spot. Like, it's been a hot minute. There's a deer right over there. It's not uh, very happy that I'm here. <laughs> but 
anyways, so our meal, I cut the seal because as you can see, it's like a waxy seal. Um, you can just twist this off without having to cut it, but cutting it makes it easier. And then I'm just going to get all of this stuff out, uh, laid out right here. We'll just have to use our uh, bivy as a ground mat. Okay, so here is everything laid out. Here is our main meal got ourselves a beef stick original um then we got what does it say so this is apricots these are super fresh i remember those uh very fondly um here we have some wasabi peas uh then what's kind of meant to be your side item is lentil is this lentil soup <clears throat> and then for all the uh other little doodads actually sorry we got a peanut butter chip uh protein bar i believe is what it's meant to be yeah 12 gram protein then we got a loker loker minis i don't remember what that was like i think actually whenever uh, i first tried this meal this ended up getting covered up by something and i didn't uh, really get around to uh, trying it on video um, here we got a blueberry and pomegranate drink mix. You get two salt packets. Um, one thing that I did uh, contact them about, just as a uh, little suggestion, is everything was plenty salty enough. Uh, so I would have at least one thing of pepper because some black pepper would be nice. Um, one thing that they do do you really right on is they give you these... Um, uh, big wipe. I think this was actually just one very large wipe that I ended up tearing into multiple pieces to use for uh, just wiping your mouth and for wiping off your utensils. And then we have got a Clipper Organic Snore and Peace Calamine and Lavender Herbal Tea. That is a mouthful, uh, but we'll have that as well. And the neat thing about this is, uh, so you eat your main, then for the lentil soup, uh, you make it in this container as well. I think because here is the sheet with all your uh, calorie information and things on it. And to boil the water, uh, I brought this set. Well, it's actually, it doesn't come as a set. Um, but this is a cubic titanium bowl. Because uh, I just thought that, uh, that it rested really nice on their kettle. Which this is, uh, let's see, a one liter titanium kettle so i just thought having a dedicated uh vessel for boiling our water instead of just using everything for a canteen cup so if we wanted to we could have a beverage in it one minor issue uh this is one of the first things that i have brought out without opening at home because i just knew what it was and i thought i would leave it packaged and open it uh out here in the mountain with y'all but there um all this is it's a titanium grill but they have sent two bottom or top pieces these are duplicate pieces because there should be a slit up top on one of these so that whenever these seat together uh it's level and then you can put this grill on there or what i was going to do was just you know set my pot on it and have it over the fire um i already know that the company will rectify this little hiccup no problem uh so we'll just set our water we'll just set our kettle directly on the fire we got our <coughs> leather gloves so no harm no foul there i'm not going to be precise with this water because we're just going to add water to our uh, meal as we uh see fit until we get the consistency that we want that on there and while that water is going we'll go ahead and kind of get our bed in situation situated so 
snug pack sleeping pad that I've been using past couple videos now. So a combination of breasts and the foot pump, that is not a problem at all. And then we'll just try to pay attention. That we don't put anything in here while we're doing this. should be good so then you take like what your main lid and we'll end up cupping that over it to help retain the heat Alrighty. so this calls for 7.7 .7, so basically eight ounces i'm just going to try to slowly and carefully get everything coated and then we can always add more but we can't take anything away so let's try that i'm telling you this, thing, this stuff right here i mean i i still remember how it tastes from the first time that's been months ago kind of think near about the beginning of winter so we'll get that all started to get mixed up i'm gonna add a little bit more water because it'll really soak it up Pop this on the top. And this one called for only letting it set for 10 minutes. So we'll let it set for about 12, 13. So we'll just take note of the time. And call it that. Because I mean, this is a bit later. Like we're getting to this a bit later. But anytime it's hot during the day, um, I don't really get an appetite for a bit. Because I did have beef jerky. And not just the one that's in this. I forgot this one had beef jerky in it. it turned out <clears throat> beautifully. I'll be honest, I've already had a couple of spoonfuls because I couldn't wait. I think it'll still work as a seat. Hmm. And I'll try to link, I'll try to remember to link to the video where I first tried this because I really broke down uh, all the components. I would love to see them come out with like some of these mains uh, especially this one that was just like double the uh, the portion and then that'd be the only thing is you just having the main itself hey okay, well that was very good between the main the uh the lentil soup and then that beef stick and then i'm gonna save the apricots the nuts and the protein bar for in the morning now i've not had a chance <coughs> to <clears throat> treat this bivy with permit yet so i want to try to do this as quickly as possible right there is already a out of near the doorway. Let's put this 
pressed in right here near the zipper. And if you're curious, uh, this is not a surplus poncho liner. I think I mentioned that already, but this uh, this one's high speed, a high speed daddy old poncho liner. And right now, I mean, I really don't need. We're definitely not going to uh, be using that windbreaker. And then we'll just have to uh, check our boots good in the morning. So now we're completely sealed in face right at a breathing hole don't need a pillow back vents open just kind of get a blanket because i mean this air pad is a bit like pretty it's pretty you know a thick pad so it does bring you near the top but as you can see there's still plenty of room i guess this thing is really comfortable so with that said guys I will talk to y'all <clears throat> I will talk to y'all in the morning Oh, and that's why we sleep in a bivy now. Oh, good morning, guys. <clears throat> good morning, guys. How's it going? Uh, took and had a very, very nice night's sleep. This bivy uh, worked out great. Uh, the wooby was, you know, perfectly fine. Uh, feet didn't get cold. Uh, legs upper definitely didn't get cold, but did, you know, end up covering my body with it at some point throughout there like the night and then you know in the morning when you wake up and your body has that bit of a chill um like the early morning chill uh <clears throat> it's uh it's just it's it's enough so um very much a, a winning combination because it's easier to regulate your temperature than if you was uh, in a sleeping bag inside of a bivy like this um so yeah i'm definitely going to be treating this bad boy with permethrin it's going to be one of my go-tos um, since it does offer a bit more of a head space than like the I mean I'm still going to be using my, my USMC bivy the uh, what is it the, the Highlander bivy that I got um, you know it just really depends on the exact scenario I'm going for but yeah now I'm going to take and get up and get these um, you know we got those apricots and nuts and stuff from our uh from our meal thing so i'm gonna crack them open And just look at how juicy them bad boys are. Oh, so yeah, these are really sticky, so you just kind of want to squeeze them out of the pouch. Mmm. Like a really good breakfast. These wasabi peas are really vacuum packed. Now 
It looked like some kind of little ball you'd see in uh, in Mario, but. They are definitely hot. So yeah guys, that is going to do it for this one, another successful one. In the books, everything performed well, um, you know, it's a really uh, decent weather after the sun uh, went down, um, but going to try to uh, not let the heat stop me this coming season. Um, so yeah, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you have not already, share the channel with friends, family, anybody enjoys good old outdoor activities. If you're interested in any of the gear, make sure to check the uh, description box down below the video because I will try to link to everything that I can. Hit me up in that comment section, thoughts, opinions, things you want to see, and uh, until the next one, adios.